Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Matt and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the top 10 Android apps for February of 2023. And can I just say, you guys went all out in January. I got a thousand subscribers thanks to you guys and the channel is growing more than ever. So if you guys could keep that up, smash the like button, let's go ahead and get into it. My home screen this month is super vibrant and very punchy. We will be going over the icon pack later in this video. And if you're curious about this mountain style wallpaper, I got it from the Apple guy on Twitter. I'll put a tweet on the screen, but I will leave a link to that down below. The first app in the list we're gonna be taking a look at is Lunar Wallpaper. So this is a paid application, but I will be giving away some free promo codes to you guys. So just go over to my Instagram, my new Instagram, and go follow me and I will be putting it up on my story so you get some free promo codes. In terms of the theme throughout this app, all the wallpapers are graphical, none of them are real pictures, and they're all very vibrant and consist of like landscapes, but also some of them are animals and animals within the landscapes. I'm a big fan of this fox one right here. I love the colors, I love how simple and clean it is, and that fox looks like it's having a damn chill time. I wanna have a chill time like that sometime. The app is also really clean to use. There's no ads and there is a favorite section as well as a collection section. So you can specifically look for landscape pictures or ones of deers apparently, or even this special type of fish called a quow, quow? I'm so bad at pronunciation on this channel. It's ridiculous. You guys are gonna have to help me out, but a uh, super amazing app. If you wanna check it out, link will be down below. App number two on the list is Clean Fox. My inbox is just blowing up all the time. And I saw people on Twitter recently just talking about how full their inbox was. It was almost like a competition. And some people had like 100,000 like emails, just unread emails. How, how do you even get to that point? But Clean Fox is a way of just clearing out all of the unwanted subscription emails like newsletters, as well as junk emails from websites you signed up to and just forgot about. Once it's logged in and scanned through all of your emails, it will actually check which emails you open less often, and then it will assume those are the junk ones you wanna remove, and then it will go ahead and pop up with this really cool interface. Kinda of reminds me of Tinder a little bit. If you wanna unsubscribe as well as delete all the emails from a specific sender, just go ahead and swipe left. Then if you wanna just delete the email but stay subscribed, you swipe up, and then if you wanna go ahead and keep the email and stay subscribed, then you swipe right. It's a really simple interface, and it actually helps the environment out. So did you know each email in your inbox, it actually uses 10 grams of CO2 per year just because of computational servers running in the background to store your email? So by going ahead and actually using this app and clearing out your inbox, you're also kind of helping out the environment. And whenever you sign up, CleanFox will actually plant a tree in Zambia. So pretty awesome app for clearing out your inbox. App number three is Maya icons. So these are the icons I'm using on my home screen. As you can see, they're very flat, very clean, and I personally dig the way they look. It especially goes really nice with this wallpaper. And this app consists of 2,300 iOS-inspired icons. I will be giving away some free promo codes for this app as well. So remember to go check out my Instagram page, go check out my story on that profile, and you should see some free promo codes. But you guys will have to be fast. I really dig how these icons look. There's a lot to choose from, and if there is any missing icons, you can go ahead and request it from the developer, and they will personally make the icon so that your home screen has really consistent icons. I really hate when you have like the odd icon that just doesn't fit in. So the fact that you can go ahead and request an icon, and the fact that there is 2,300 in this pack is pretty good. So go check it out, Maya icons. Man, I swear, I always wear these like burgundy style hoodies in my videos. I recently set up a website called Matt Rob store and I'm going to be selling some custom hoodies. So if you guys have any design ideas, let me know. You can go check out the store down below. If you want to help support me, I would appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I'm number four. Let's just take a look at it. It's called Amaze Utilities and this is a file manager app. So you have all the standard functionality you would have in a file manager app. You're able to browse through your phone's directory, move files, create folders, all of that jazz. But personally, my favorite part is this analyze section down on the bottom left here. This opens up this scanner, which scans through all of your files and actually helps you free up space on your device. But this thing is powerful. It scans through your device and finds all the memes you no longer need anymore. We all need memes, so we need to skip that one. And then you have the option to find blurred photos, which is really handy, because why would you need to store blurred, crappy photos on your device? 
This app has literally so many smart categories. I've never seen anything like it. They just scan through your device and find all these junk, out of date videos, pictures, screenshots that you don't need anymore. So if you do want to clear out your device and free up a lot of space, this is definitely the most organized and best way of going about doing it. Something else pretty cool is if you and your friend have this app, you can actually use it to directly file transfer from one device to another. App number five on the list is Pika Dynamic Island. So a lot of people have been really impressed with the iOS Dynamic Island and the functionality it brings. This app is a little bit of a combination. So it brings over the functionality of the Dynamic Island, but it also adds like a virtual pet. So let's just jump into the app. You can turn on the Dynamic Island, as you can see up at the top there. It looks super weird on my Pixel, just seeing that cutout. But if you don't like the big pill shape cutout, you can actually just go ahead and change the cutout to match your hole punch in your display. But once you've gone ahead and done that, as you can see here, there's some various different functionalities built in, like you get notifications whenever you pair Bluetooth devices, it's gonna pop up in the island. And then also, when you go ahead and play music, you're able to long hold and expand and get music controls directly in the Dynamic Island on your Android device. Sounds kind of crazy, right? But there's more. Like I mentioned, you have a virtual pet up there. So down here, you can actually choose from some paid or free pets, and they are basically interactive, so they kind of come out of the Dynamic Island every once in a while, which can get annoying, but you can disable it. And you can interact with them, you can kind of tap them, move them around, it just makes your phone feel a little bit more alive and kind of reminds me of those days with the Tamagotchi. And number six is Milkshake. Milkshakes bring all the boys to the yard, for sure. My top apps is booming right now. <laughs> uh, so Milkshake is a way of building a personalized website. It's like a web page and that stores all your social media links. So it could have your YouTube, your Twitter, your Facebook. It could have all your social links in one place, but it allows you to customize the theme and the layout and you can add various graphics and images and make it look really personal and really beautiful, honestly. I'm a big fan of this. You can also create new pages and you can actually post videos as well as blog posts directly onto this page. So if you don't wanna go all out and purchase a domain as well as all these sort of website templates and builders, you can just download this app, it's free, and you can immediately put the link to this web page on your social media pages and people will be connected across platforms, which is kind of cool. So I really like it. Milkshake is app number six. App number seven is Block. We all hate ads as well as cookies and trackers, and it can be super annoying when you're researching something, like you might just Google something like, uh, like I don't know, shoelaces or how to tie your shoes, and then all of a sudden you're getting shoe ads on Instagram. That That's really annoying, honestly. I hate knowing that people are kind of tracking me and watching me, especially on Android. It can be especially bad. And Block is a way of completely eradicating all trackers and all ads throughout your entire Android experience. And you can do it in literally one click. So inside the app here, there's a big toggle switch at the top and you can see how many ads and trackers it's blocked. This is crazy, 16,000 today. That's how many ads it's blocked. What the hell, we're literally being stalked every second of using our smartphone, so yeah. Uh, this isn't sponsored or anything. I just personally think this is a really sick app. There's no ads. There's no limit as far as I can tell. There is a pro version which has extra functionality, but it has everything you would need for a free blocker. So link will be down below. App number eight is Paragraph AI. And this is an AI chatbot which will write an essay or a paragraph or a news article based around literally a query of a few words. So you just click on the search box here type in anything you want, write an article about a dog filming YouTube videos. Then underneath you can choose how formal it is, how friendly it is and how pessimistic it is. You can also choose your language. There's like 25 different languages you can choose from. Then you click on write. Not only can you turn a simple query into an entire essay, but you can also go ahead and generate lists, reply to messages by simply pasting the message in here. It will automatically reply for you, which can save a lot of time, and it's completely free. So link will be down below to this. App number nine is floating menu. So we all know the new gestures on Android 12, Android 13, we all have those back gestures at the sides of the screen. 
However, you can actually add more functionality like a swipe up or a swipe down or a long hold swipe up by simply just using this app floating menu. So floating menu allows you to add extra gestures baked into the Android 12 gestures like turning on your flashlight or opening up a specific application or triggering an action. And you can actually add more gesture spots on the screen. So not only can you have it on either side, but you can also have it on the top corner. So it goes ahead and quickly opens up an app like the settings or turns on your flashlight. There's a lot of customization in the app. You can change the appearance and the positioning and the trigger area. Just go and dive into it. Have a look for yourself. It's pretty sick. And now for the finale of the video, app number 10 is Data Monitor. So this app simply tracks your data usage for Wi-Fi as well as cellular, and it keeps track of how much data you've actually gone ahead and used. This can be really useful, especially if you have limited tariffs on your cellular plan, or if you're just on Wi-Fi and you wanna reduce your bandwidth and you're just interested in how much internet you're using. Using this app, you can actually live track how much data is being downloaded directly in your notification panel. And something else that's useful is they have a dedicated widget you can put on your home screen. So if you want to track your usage without going into the app every so often, then you can just have a widget on your home screen and keep track of your data usage like that. So yeah, that is my 10 apps for February. Can I just say again, thank you for supporting my channel. If you do want to donate any money, then I have a PayPal link down below, or you can check out my website, mattrob.store. You can actually pick up various water bottles as well as hoodies and merchandise. If you have any criticism about the designs or you want to see a specific design in my store, then just let me know. I'd be happy to update the store and create new designs for you guys. But go check it out. I'd appreciate it. And I will see you guys later. So peace.